Good morning or afternoon or whenever you're deciding to watch this quick video. Um, this is Meg and I'm going to show you a quick video on how to submit a support ticket um, for technology. So this would be any problems that you have with your MacBook, your Promethean board, Chromebook, iPad, um, and this would also include any issues that you might have with um, iReady, um, any N-Grade, Master Connect, any kind of um, software issues as well. So hardware or software, and this is where we're going to kind of submit those tickets so that we can get some help and get stuff working properly. So first we're going to go to InfoWeb. So you'll see the web address is up here. It's infoweb.euclid.k12.oh.us. You should be moderately familiar with this website as it also has your self-service login, web sys, other things that you probably use on a more regular basis. So when you need to submit a support ticket, you're going to go over here to this orange column and scroll about halfway down. You're going to see the technology support parentheses sysaid. And that's where we're going to be submitting these kind of tickets. So we're going to go ahead and click right there. And we're going to let that load for just a second. Um, when we get to the next screen, it's going to be a login screen. Um, and it's going to ask us to um, enter username and password. The username and password is going to be the same thing that you use to get into your email. It's probably the same thing you use to get into your computer as well. Um, so it's going to be first... Ooh, I realize I didn't click it all the way the first time. Um, it's going to be first initial, last name, and then whatever your password is. So I'm um, Somerville... And then my password. And then we're going to go ahead and log in. Okay, so from here you pretty much have two options. One is to submit a support request. Um, this would be for a new issue that you're experiencing. And then the other one would be to view your service history. So this is if you submitted a ticket a couple days ago and you want to come and check on it, that's where you would do that. So what we're primarily going to be talking about submitting a new ticket. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and hit Submit a Support Request. From here, you don't have to worry about this template. Just leave that alone. And we're going to go to Category first. So Categories, Audiovisual, Computers, um, Copiers, Email, you can read. Um, so you can see all of the different categories that they are. Please note that if you have a copier or a printer issue, I actually don't want you to go through SysAid for either of those things. Um, we will talk about a little bit at the end and the process for taking care of printer and copier issues. So those are the only two do not go through this aid for. So I'm going to say I have a computer issue and then I'm going to select a subcategory. It's going to have be asking me basically what kind of computer is my issue. And again, all these um, options and filtering out in the subcategories is to just kind of direct your ticket to the person that it's most applicable to. So we're going to have a title for it. Um, so be you can be pretty vague in your title. So I'm just going to say cracked screen and pretend that I cracked Chromebook screen. screen. In your description, um, the main thing that it's really important, that the information that we capture in your description is your building and your room number. Your name will be associated with your ticket, so we can look it up, but it makes um, the turnaround a lot faster if you tell us what it is. So I'm going to say I'm at Shoreview in room 101. And then if you have a brief description of your issue, that would be great. This one is pretty straightforward. I have a cracked screen. Um, if something's going on with like a broken computer, as much details as you can give us would be great. Um, but again, we'll follow up with you if we have any additional questions. So I've got my building, my room number, and I'm just going to say Chromebook number three has a cracked screen. If you're going to put your urgency on it, this is going to be normal. Um, remember, urgent, very high. Um, that's you can't function without it. Low is eh, in the next while you kind of need that worked out, but it's not a big deal. If you have any attachments to attach, here's where you do that. So if you had a screenshot or something like that of your issue, you could do that as well. If you had a picture of it, great. Again, if you don't have anything to attach, that's fine as well. And we're going to go ahead and hit submit. <coughs> now, once we hit submit, you're going to see this thank you screen. And then you're pretty much all set. Um, you'll also immediately receive an email that just says that a ticket has been submitted on your behalf. It'll give you the, the reference number here. 
um, so that you can kind of have that for your records. Now, as the technician picks up your ticket and starts working on it, you will get updates through email that kind of tell you what's happening with your ticket up until you get an email that says that your ticket is closed. If for some reason you have any questions about that, um, you can also call 2981. Um, that's the general tech department number, and somebody should be able to field you through any of those, any of those questions. Now we talked quickly about copiers and printers. If you have a copier or printer issue and that includes it needing toner, um, you need to go to the point person for copiers or printers in your building. It is likely a secretary or um, a media assistant if you have either of those positions, um, but either of those positions should also know who that point person is. Um, that's the person that's going to be um, talking directly with Blue Technologies if we're getting toner issues squared away. So that's the person that you go through go through for issues such as that. Um, if you have any questions, as always, you can feel free to contact me at msomerville at euclidschools.org. Um, and I hope that you have a great day. Thank you.